So today it was a warm one, but ended pretty nicely. Taking a look here from Dennis, looking at the sunset, maybe setting up a hammock between the trees to watch as the sun sets. We had quite a bit of some red skies out there, but it was still very nice. Some high-level clouds coming in from Debbie, and of course, a very lovely. There's it is again, taking a look. That's all looking at a stratus cloud. They saw a lot of these throughout the entire day from Jack Poole. Thank you so much. It was a nice warm day today. 91 for our highs. We're actually going to see warmer temperatures tomorrow, and it's barely going to take its time to cool off right now. We're seeing some still sitting at 70s, a few pockets of areas. Seen a little bit of cool air cutting through the Concho Valley, getting 68 here in San Angelo. Some mid-60s starting to pop up, but for most of us, we're only going to barely get down into the low 50s. We're seeing more clouds rolling in, and that is pretty much going to be the case for us as we go into the rest of Tuesday. Clouds rolling in, we'll start to see temperatures warm back up. 92 for tomorrow, so that means some of us could see 95 with plenty of sunshine winds from the south. But we are going to start to see some activity overnight and into your Wednesday morning. So pretty much had that low pressure sitting over New Mexico, had a boundary, it was stalled out front that was sitting north of us, pretty much cutting the entire state in half. So we had a little bit of a cooler day in the northern part, but south they saw quite a bit of some 90s for them. So us, as that low pressure does move closer, we are going to see a few storms potentially. This is taking a look at Wednesday early in the morning. There's the non-severe, but we do have a marginal risk for some of the counties out towards Coleman, Brady, and Mason. They're kind of seeing a little bit of that marginal. The slight risk is further towards our east, but we will be seeing one or two storms that are going to be passing through early in your Wednesday. So until that happens, Tuesday staying pretty dry. We'll see one or two showers pop up on 9 o'clock at night, seeing some light stuff early in the evening. And then we start to look Wednesday. Here it is, starting to push through some light, pretty much widespread showers starting out from the west and moving east. We'll see it pick up in a little bit of strength because lows aren't getting that cool. We'll actually see some 60s for our lows. So we'll have plenty of activity in the atmosphere to see some storms. And then by the end of the day, we clear it out. We get sunshine coming back. We get temperatures cooling off into the mid 80s, but it is still going to be a little bit on the cooler side, but not that cool. So 90s for us as we go through tomorrow. We're going to see the clouds starting to roll in pretty much overnight into the early hours of Wednesdays where we're seeing the showers and the potential for storms because looking at that low that's 67 so definitely going to be staying warm we'll be seeing a lot of activity in there and then we'll get back down 85 I know you were saying not that much of a cool down with this low pressure and cold front moving through because we kick quickly back up into the 90s Thursday and Friday with plenty of sunshine. Saturday is the cold front that you want to enjoy with cooler temperatures. It's staying dry, which is nice, but we're going to be having temperatures get to 76, a nice break in cooler temperatures from that. It is only short-lived because then we see 80s coming back behind that, so just got to buckle down and get through those 90s before we see a nice, cool Saturday on the way.